Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man, and today we're looking at a Kenmore Ultra Stitch 12. And this is a nice little machine for somebody who wants to have a backup machine or a primary machine. Uh, I tell a lot of people that have the electronic machines that have the plastic parts, you know, might want to have something like this as a backup. So when yours is waiting for parts, can't be fixed, parts aren't available, uh, you know, whatever happens to these new electronic ones with the plastic parts. Go to something like this. It's analog. It has no tragic flaws. Everything on it can be taken care of. If you sew every day, all day, eight hours a day, you can uh, replace motor brushes. You can replace motors. You can replace belts. You can uh, put another bobbin case in it, another hook assembly if you need to. I mean, if you can just really be rough and mean and beat these things up, you can still keep them running. And I have customers who do just that. They have... Uh, uh, Etsy accounts, they make their living with their little sewing machine, and they usually have two of these. One to bring to me to service while the other one goes into action, and they swap them out. Great little machines. Has a standard 15 class bobbin, just like Singer's had forever, like Bernina has. It's a very, very common, very popular, very, uh, uh, very workable. It's just a good, solid platform. And it's made out of metal. Metal's nice, chrome plated. Here's your hook assembly, chrome plated metal. Uh, they're making these out of plastic today. They're making everything that they can out of plastic. This one has an adjustable pressure for your uh, how much pressure is applied to your fabric. So you can do monogram or freehand uh, quilting if you want to. You can push that to release it, push all the way down for heavy or halfway for normal. It's all metal. Everything inside here is, is metal. Everything inside. It's all steel, chrome plated, precision. Uh, it's got a tension assembly. I tell people it's uh, self-adjusting tension, and that's confusing because the machine doesn't have any sentient abilities. It doesn't think. It doesn't sense. Keep it on four. It'll take care of all your applications. Three to five is the range. If this is always on four, you're not going to have a tension problem. You may have a bad stitch, which will be caused by a hundred different things, needle in backwards, wrong thread, a lot of different stuff. But put this on four, thread it with your presser foot up, and you'll not have a tension problem. Now you have a bobbin winder up here made out of metal. It's uh, metal with chrome plating on it. All the new ones are plastic. Quite a few are plastic. And they break, and then you're, it's game over. you got your $2,000 machine with a broken bobbin winder, and it's going to cost $300 to fix it. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. Metal spool pins, a lot of plastic. These don't break. Uh, it's got the standard hand wheel uh, clutch release on the side. So you want to wind the bobbin, you flip that over, you flip this over, winds the bobbin kicks off when it's full it's only been working for 150 years so any day now that's going to have something better i doubt it being sarcastic that's as good as it gets it can't get any better now this has built-in stitches it has variable length variable width all your stretch stitches your overlocks and i have customers that are looking for a machine and i tell them to go to my youtube channel and look at machines so the first one that pops up is like an old singer featherweight and they go i don't want an antique machine and they move on go down to some local dealer or Walmart and buy one of those for $300 and uh, they think they solved their problem. But the reason I'm putting this on here, there's machines out there that you can't go wrong. Now this one I have for sale, this one's $279, uh, metal drive gear, some accessories and wiring. I don't have a book with it. You can get those online. This is the 158-156-1180. Nice little machine. It's got the convertible free arm here, so you can take this off and do a sleeves and the cuffs. It comes right off very easily if you know what you're doing. There you go. Standard 15 class. You can clean that out. Keep it, keep it blown out in there. Keep it nice and nice and clean in here. It's all metal. All the ge drive gears are metal. It's just a real good machine. It's foolproof. It's flawless. Made to a standard that you're never, ever, ever going to see again. Uh, they're not going to fire up some factory to make these machines because that, that era is gone. But these are out here. They made millions of them. You just got to know what you're looking for and find them. If you want one from me, I have a couple of these. That's all I ever have is a couple of machines like this because they hard, they're hard to get and they move quickly. So if you got $279 plus tax, you got tax you're going to spend that same $300 you give Walmart for a machine that might work for a while. How long a while is, I have no idea. You'll figure that out. But... If you can get a hold of one of these, I can sell you one. You can find one in an estate sale, maybe a garage sale, maybe online. Make sure they pack it properly when they send it to you so it doesn't show up in pieces. But I would recommend this machine. I have this 279 plus tax, the Kenmore Ultra Stitch 12. It's a nice one.